Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I would uh, show you an update on the SCAR entry level combat CV. And I did get the hull kind of completed up uh, and textured and the bottom side's done. And I got a modded version of the ship. I'll show you in just a second here. But this is kind of what it's looking like. I've got some flaws in the texturing and stuff like that right now. And I'll probably uh, try to increase its detail and, and stuff like that. I did uh, add a few damage blocks to it. Just a few, though. There's like a little bit of damage here and there. Um, just enough so you can kind of see it, but uh, nowhere important uh, are these damage blocks. Um, and it's different, a little bit different on either side of the ship, too. So, But only like maybe about eight total damage blocks on the build. Um, just in places that hopefully uh, give the impression that it's, you know, been uh, rugged and been in battle and all that kind of stuff before. But uh, anyway, that's that's pretty much what the uh, the ship is looking like uh, textured up here. Um, now I do have this version without any of its guns, uh, so yeah, I do uh, you do have 11 turret positions and you have 10 launcher positions on the build, so you can uh, put in whatever guns and turrets you want in those positions on here. So after I got this all uh, done to this point here, here's uh, here's another variant of the ship, and this is the one I'm actually kind of leaning towards. Uh, uh, continuing with um, and the point of this one was I wanted to restore the landing pad that the early version of the ship had um, and get that back in place so what I ended up doing is take as I took the bridge that was there and I copied and pasted it and put it up about five blocks this way shaved it off by a couple blocks um, which gave me enough room to put a landing pad back over in this area uh, so Hopefully that works. Um, I wasn't sure how what I was going to think about the looks of it um, in comparison to the bridge in the back versus the bridge kind of more forward. Um, now this one, when I did build the bridge, I kind of uh, uh, purposely like lined up the front of the bridge to this side piece over here. I do like the flow between the angles here and the angles on the thrusters and stuff. I thought it looked uh, generally kind of decent that way, and I kind of like this. Uh, basically, I kind of like the looks of this one a little bit better than the other one. Um, but at the same time, this one doesn't bother me either uh, very much. Um, and uh, it works just the same, except you got a landing pad. Um, it does have one less turret position on it, though. That was a side effect. I did at one point in time have a turret position here, um, and I did lose it. So there is that. Um, I might try to put a turret position back over there somewhere or either that or um, find a new place for where the long-range radar is supposed to go and uh, use that as a turret position instead. Basically, I wanted to try to make sure I had a turret that could shoot behind the ship uh, in case you're getting tailed by drones and stuff like that. You'd have something back there to, to shoot at it. Uh, it could be done with a couple of sentry guns as well. Um, something I don't have on the build at all right now is sentry guns. That's pretty much how it's looking. Um, on the uh, interior and stuff, it is, um, yeah, I still got to do that. I just started filling in some hardened steel blocks over here. And my plan right now is to start the engineering area about where I'm standing here and back this way. And then have this, this front area just kind of uh, uh, filled in with uh, reinforcing blocks. And I might even put in like a little baby... Uh, fuel tank and generator in there for decoys maybe i'm not sure yet um and i don't know if i should go with combat steel blocks i don't want to put xeno blocks in the build because it doesn't have any of it now and it's i don't want the player responsible to get xeno uh material before spawning this in so i probably won't use xeno but i maybe i'll even have a, a, a couple uh, combat steel blocks in here too i don't know exactly yet but all I can say is there'll be no important stuff up here at all. Uh, so the whole front could get blown off the ship and you should be okay. And hopefully that works out pretty good. On this version here too, there's one other little advantage with having the bridge uh, kind of forward design here. Is it's really going to work out pretty nice for a uh, pathing system on inside the ship here. Basically, there'll be an elevator going up to the ground floor. Uh, right around this location here that'll probably pass through where you get into the um, landing pad and then to the bridge and then down to your small production slash utility area in the back part of the ship over in this general region here. And then the other parts of the ship, this whole uh, room space over here will be your warp drive, 
your main shield and probably additional shield part upgrades and of course uh uh, CPU block area somewhere too. I'm going to try to keep that away from everything else if I can. Uh, so that's basically the, the plan on it. Right now I'm kind of angling at two 200k uh, ammo base on here. Um, maybe some additional storage. I don't know. Could could have it like a, even some kind of harvest bay on here. I couldn't rule out using this as like a turret based uh, miner. Like if you put a uh, multi-turret up over here or something like that. Um, that could probably work out pretty good. Oh, I missed more textures there too. Yeah, there's quite a few textures I'm missing in places yet. Um, but uh, anyway, that is pretty much where the ship is at. So a couple other things I wanted to address in this video. Uh, one is um, there's a comment uh, pertaining to this ship or combat ships in general in a past video that... Uh, was suggesting that uh, a good combat CV should have 100 MS in all six directions. And, uh, well, I kind of got good news about that. Now, it's kind of interesting there. I was thinking about that combat for a little bit, and I don't know for sure. I mean, say you're doing 80 strafing versus 100 strafing, that could make, make the difference between uh, dodging a projectile or getting hit by it. So th there could be a lot of merit to that. Um, one thing about this is, obviously, it's not doing 100 in all, all six directions. In fact, it's currently only hitting 100 in one direction, and I'm sure after I build the interior, it won't be doing that. In fact, it'll probably be somewhere in the 80s to 70s in these directions when I do release it after the interior is built. Um, but here's the wonderful thing about Reforged Eden 2, is right now I'm running these mid-tier thrusters on the ship here. Let me get the HUD out. And what we're actually got installed in here are these guys here, these... Uh, Advanced Plasma Thrusters, and 1,440 CPU uh, and a force of 130 MN. Well, in-game, you can upgrade these to the Advanced Animator Thrusters. Same size, I think you can walk up to them with a multi-tool with uh, the right resources on you and upgrade them. So basically, you could upgrade them uh, to 194 MN um, and at a cost of uh, 1,920 CPU. So the whole point is... Even after this whole thing was finished up, interior, operational, using it in game, you got ammo in your ammo box, all that fun stuff. Um, I believe it, it, it would be over 100 in all six directions if the thrusters were upgraded. So that's that's an option. I mean, if it was a deal breaker for you on, on the thruster speed, keep that in mind. It's not specific to this ship or anything like that. It's just a general feature in RE2 that you can upgrade the thrusters, providing they don't have the top tier ones already. If they did, then you got no place to go with upgrades. But since I'm only using the mid tier, you could bring them to the, this level. And if you brought, you know, like all these thrusters on the ship to this tier, um, you'd gain a quite a bit more uh, thruster performance. And I think that would make the difference of going from around 80 up to a little bit above 100 in all, all the directions. So that, that's just something I wanted to throw out there. And then the very last thing I just wanted to bring up is on uh, last week's A Look at the Workshop video, I screwed up looking at a couple ships in there, and I apologize for that. Um, I thought they were just uh, refits from RE1 to RE2, and I was mistaken on two ships in there. Uh, and they were actually new ships. Um, and they were, they might have had some similar design elements to previous ships, and that's where I really got confused at. But both of them were, were new builds, and they were bigger than the previous build, and they had different names and stuff like that. So I'm going to be re-showing those on this Friday's look uh, at the workshop video, but a proper show going through the ship that I didn't do on, on the last video um, because I, th I just thought there were updates. Um, and and that, that's my fault. It's I, I should have... Uh, Sort of looked that up a little bit better there. I was in a hurry. I had a late start getting the video going, and I thought I was going to have to um, uh, have something going on at 3 o'clock that actually didn't turn out to, to happen. But I was uh, if I didn't get it done then, it, I would have been really uh, just when I had time to do it that day at all, basically. So um, I was in a hurry, and I screwed up. And I apologize, and I will be re-showing re those ships. So other than that, that is all I've got for today. Uh, the only question I've got in is, I mean, which one of these two variants would you rather see 
rather have in game. I mean, if you if you got an opinion, right now, of course, I am leaning towards the one with with the landing pad. Um, but if you if you like this one better, uh, let me know, um, and then I'll, uh, I'll I'll pursue this one. I don't really want to put them both out, so it's kind of like one or the other. Um, I don't. They're they're too close to have to a variant about this. That just that's a lot of extra work and different interior setup and all kinds of stuff to to do that. I'd rather just kind of go with uh, one of the the two. Now, I mean, technically speaking, I think the one with the, the bridge in the back. I I think I like it a little bit better, but it's pretty trivial to this one too. They're both quite similar. So. Um, other than that, I will shut up, and you guys have yourself a great day. I will talk to you later.